Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is July 19th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm gonna provide you with information about a climate progress monitor put together by Schroeder's Andrew Howard. And recently, and Andrew Howard provided an update for Schroeder's climate progress indicator. And I just want to provide you with, with a couple of statements from this indicator, which, which give us an idea of where we're headed with regards to human-caused climate change. And so just a, just a few items of note. One, Schroeder's provides a present pathway indicator, meaning what course we are currently on, and and also provides an understanding of which direction we're moving in. So it looks at how much warming is likely to unfold as a result of our current actions, commitments, and changes in our energy outlook and how much carbon we are emitting into the atmosphere. So because it's a moving target, it shouldn't be seen as written in stone but more of an indicator of which direction we're heading in, like which direction the bow of the ship is pointing in presently. So it shouldn't be misconstrued as, while Schroeder's presently says we're on a pathway to four degrees Celsius warming this century, doesn't mean that that's inevitable. But what it does mean is that's where the bow of the ship is currently pointing, and we need to make a lot more progress to move off a four degrees Celsius warming scenario. All right, so getting into this a little bit, I just want to read this one paragraph from Schroeder's. And they state that we launched the climate jet dashboard a year ago. And at that time, the climate progress dashboard pointed to, pointed to a 4.1 degrees Celsius temperature rise over the course of this century. Since then, it has fallen slightly to four degrees Celsius and indicators are moving in the right direction. And there are reasons for optimism looking at individual indicators, but it is also clear that far faster action is needed and far more disruption from climate change and, and from various different factors involving the energy transition, and I'm adding these as parenthetical state statements, lies ahead. So I'm gonna look at this indicator that's provided by Schroeder's. And as we noted from reading the subsection of the paragraph, Schroeder's is presently indicating a four degree temperature rise on our present path. And what Schroeder's does is, is very helpful is, is looks at a number of indicators and then provides its forecast as an aggregate of these indicators. And I'm just gonna look at some of these indicators with you. So one indicator, for example, is political and ambition. And it, it tracks the, the commitments of various nations to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. These are stated commitments by, by nations and it's based on historical data and individual reporting by countries. And, and what Schroeder also provides here is where that track is in relationship to projected warming. So the green line, for example, is the two degrees Celsius line, which is the, the target, the, the nominal target of the Paris Climate Agreement. And the, the purple line is a, is a six degree warming line, which re, would re, re, be the result of a, a number of various failures to, to meet commitments. And the blue line is, is where we are tracking now in the context of, of, of this particular object. So, so political ambition being one. So corporate planning being another, for example, it, it tracks the strength of corporate action and business strategies to address climate change. And as you can see, the, uh, the trend line here is, is moving down, but it's still not, not where it should be. And 
electrical vehicles is a indicator because, well, as we noted before, it's very important to transition fossil fuel burning transportation away from fossil fuel burning and, and toward a renewable energy based transport fleet. And electrical vehicles is a primary avenue for, for that progress. And so here we show that electrical vehicle stock itself is, is a primary indicator. And we're tracking on a slightly more than three degrees Celsius temperature rise due to present adoption rates of electrical vehicles. So electrical vehicle adoption needs to accelerate. And oil and gas investment is another indicator and showing a, a percent of, of assets invested into oil and gas companies and related production growth and exploration and extraction. And so higher investments in, in oil production and extraction and oil companies and fossil fuel companies, oil, gas, and coal will result in more carbon emissions over time. And so, so capital expenditure and asset investment needs to drop to hit the two degree target line. So, so these are some just examples of the indicators. As you can see, there are a number of other indicators, how concerned the public is, how much financing goes into clean, clean energy, how rapidly renewable energy capacity is being added, how large the fossil fuel reserve is and, and how likely that reserve is to be extracted, how much political action is taking place, whether or not action is being taken on carbon pricing, whether or not carbon capture and storage capacity is being deployed, and how much fossil fuels are being produced. So, so this is a very good aggregate and, and, and movement in this trend going forward will be very important. So, so presently, movement is somewhat positive, meaning that we've moved from a pathway of 4.1 degrees Celsius warming over the course of this century to 4.0 degrees Celsius warming over the past year. So that's some positive movement, but we're still on track for a very, very, very difficult climate future and a lot more needs to be done. So thank you for joining me. I'll be chatting with you soon.